hello Bennett, it's your grandpa. And I'm gonna start making a model for you. Uh, actually, it was a gift from your cousin Zachary, who gave it to me last Christmas, almost a year ago. And the idea was to make it, and then I'm gonna send it to you. I'm trying to do this by myself. I don't have a cameraman, but I have a remote control. Uh, so that I can zoom in and show you some of the things that we're going to do. I hope you can hear me. I can uh, try to raise my voice and edit if you're not yet hearing me clearly. I didn't want to wear a microphone. I've got a cup of coffee, some spray paint, the model. Uh, I've got some brush paints that we, you have to use a brush with, like this. In fact, let me try to zoom now. Or it's like, this is the actual pickup truck body that we're going to spray paint today. I picked a cream colored yellow and the interior and other parts will be uh, brown with uh, black and red engine parts. So we'll be spray painting this here in just a few minutes. Just wanted to show you some of the other components. We'll be spray painting the body parts and the hood, hopefully. Uh, and I'll show you how we do that. And then uh, there's some parts in here that uh, I may want to paint red, such as the engine block here, that we can either use uh, red paint out of the bottle with the brush, or we could use the spray paint that's red. So, let me zoom back out now. Okay. Take a sip of coffee. Now what I've done is I've taken the, uh, the pickup body here and attached, using tape, attached a piece of wood stick that I smashed flat on the end so the tape could hold it securely. And in this way, I can hold the pickup truck while I spray paint it. I'm going to move these paints out of the way because we no longer need this. I just wanted to show you what they were. This is a little kit that contains the things we'll be using later. When we do the detail painting, we'll be using these uh, hand paints, I call them, instead of spray paints, and brushes like this. And we've got a thinner... Let me zoom in. Get cement. Uh, this makes clear plastic sheeting for uh, custom effects. I don't know what. I'm sorry. I don't know why we wouldn't want to use that. This uh, creates uh, clear glass pieces if you want to make custom windows or things like that. The cement, which would be used to glue a lot of the parts together, and then again the different paints. You know, green, pink, red, blue. Light blue, dark blue, green, silver, gold, yellow, white. We've got all the colors and small brushes to use to paint things. And that's what we would use when we get down to small parts, such as the engine block, the fan. We'd want to paint that silver, probably silver and black. Get real detailed in here with the with these little engine parts, the rear axle. You could be stiffy and paint it bright yellow. Uh, the rear torsion springs, the crankcase cover, valve covers. Uh, start off probably by painting all of this black with the, with the, oh I don't have spray black paint. So we'll paint these uh, probably, I want the engine block red, uh, some of the other parts I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Here we have um, interior parts, um, brake drums, I wish I had black spray paint. This would be a good good one to spray paint. Uh, so right now, I think I'm gonna have to think about these, these parts later and concentrate on these parts, which uh, probably need to be painted yellow first, and then we may have to touch those up. This is a steering wheel and uh, inside door panels. Uh, the interior of the compartment where the seats and floor mat, dashboard will eventually go. Speaking of dashboard, there's the dashboard. So we'll start off by painting the dashboard yellow. 
so this will be spray painted yellow along with the along with pickup body the rear side panels and the hood hope I'm not hope I'm getting a good shot of that for you okay so we'll set these things here this is sandpaper by the way that you can use to clean things if, or remove burrs things like that today we don't have burrs or cutting to do when we cut these materials here that's when we use what's called an exacto knife and this is probably why you won't be doing this for a few years uh, Bennett this is a very sharp razor blade with a very very sharp point and that's what we use when we want to remove like this little bitty part here these, these are the brake pedals and I want to make a clean cut I don't want to burr on there so I will use a sharp blade to make that cut or any other cuts that we need to do so in the meantime we're going to be painting this all yellow I think we'll paint this all yellow along with these parts here so we have some small parts for the interior like the steering wheel and brake pedals and dashboard and the, the actual uh, side panels the rear panels everything that's going to be a body component will be yellow and that's what's in this little pile right here let me zoom back out a little bit and you can see that's what we're going to spray paint um, just so that you see some other things here real quickly we've got some rubber tires and have the chrome grill chrome uh, hubcaps Hard to see myself over here. Um, looking for chrome valve covers. Uh, look, chrome uh, headlamp things and a chrome bumper. Can you see all of that? Anyway, chrome parts. Let me zoom back out a little bit. Toby's running around here, by the way. He comes by here in a minute, I'll snag him. So, anyway, those go back in the boxes. Uh, it's dead quiet here in Palo Alto, and still, there's a slight breeze way up very thin clouds very high up it's warm I'd say probably in the mid 70s it's a perfect day for spray painting a model car okay so now we're gonna put this away lay our parts out kind of in the order that we're gonna paint them put our exacto blade safely away so it can't stick or cut anybody that goes way far away all right and my coffee I don't think I'll get painted in the other thing is you can have a glove if you want to hold something up uh, with two fingers and not get uh, get your fingers wet. I may use that for paint it, get, your finger, get paint on your fingers. I may use that when we get to these parts here. Uh, interesting configuration. Remember the hood. Okay, this is a paint stop so the paint doesn't go all over Susan's garden and the table and everything. This is our paint. There's a little ball inside. What we do is we rattle it around. What that does is it mixes the paint up because some of the paint gets thick and settles to the bottom. And by holding it upside down and shaking it, you can hear the bottle, the ball, the ball inside rattling around and it's stirring up the paint. And then we'll give it a test spray before we get carried away here. Seems to be working pretty good. So now, on goes the paint. 